you have the most upscale podcast studio. I mean, these cameras on the wall. Yeah. You got a two-way mirror over there. Who knows who's behind that? <laughs> Whom or whose? It's a jury of your peers sitting behind that. You ever do jury duty? I've tried, but they uh, always ask me to leave. Really? Yeah. And what if you're, what if you're the defendant and you leave? No, you, if you're the defendant, you have to stay. That's a, kind of another bit with the straw. Um, have we you call done, these bits, have you done jury duty? Um, no, I've tried mm -hmm. many times. Yeah, they don't like it when a known person is on the jury sometimes. They think it's distracting. So you did jury or no? I tried. Right. Several times in New York and LA. I heard it's I fun. Up. I, Sonia, you've done so jury duty fun. and you it's really like it. I love it. Isn't I've it been on a jury twice. Really? Yeah. Once was a hung jury. The second one was guilty. And it was, <sighs> it's fun. You, you get an hour and a half for lunch. You could leave at 430, you know, get there wow. at 1030. This is wow. what they had in mind when they set up our judicial system. It was Sona's comfort <laughs> and uh, snack schedule. <laughs> I ran into a cop once and I said, is it true if you get a ticket, and you don't pay it. You say you want to go to court. The cops usually don't show up, especially on a holiday or close to a holiday. Mm -hmm. So when you got that DUI last time, you should have kept that in mind. What happened there? Did you have, you just had a, 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 a mental, a, I think a synapse snapped right there. You this went, is audible. Next time that happens, you should keep that in mind. <laughs> Next time that happens, keep it in mind. <laughs> Do, do you breakdown. always make fun of people's, uh, you know, inadequacies? <laughs> I am now. This is, you're, you're falling apart. You're an ATM on the fritz. What's happening, Kevin? Are you having a rough day? You know, I was driving over here and mm -hmm. I think, I can't wait to see Conan. Mm -hmm. I've changed my mind about that. <laughs> I really have. Why is it that every time we come on here, it's just back and forth. Yeah. Why can't we just be it's real? It's like a marriage. No. Yeah. It's not. Speaking of which, uh, your wife. Oh, right. Isn't she's she the lovely. best? I am she's so best. lucky. I am yeah. so, so lucky. She's Gorgeous, smart. She's beautiful, funny, funny, beautiful, talented, talented. She's yeah. so supportive. Unlike yeah. some people I know. I know my wife never helps me out. Oh, oh God. Always. Oh, is that what we were talking about? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we both married well. You got to admit, we both did very well. We married, what do we call it? Up. Uh, we married up. Uh, uh, up, yeah. We both married up. Yeah. We're two uh, guys that no one would probably want to hang out with for very long. I'm sorry. I'm including myself. In do you there. think you're insecure, basically? I'm serious right now. Do you think you're insecure? How do I know you're being serious? You're, you're a shapeshifter. I'm not stuttering. Wow. Oh. That's a good tell. Basically insecure. I think I have been in my life. I think less so now than I was maybe earlier in my life. You ever watched a Daredevil on uh, <clears throat> the Disney Plus? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you're the worst therapist. Wait a minute. Let's let's see where I'm going here. Yeah. Ask do you me know why? Where let's see where Ask I'm going. Me why. I haven't seen the Daredevil okay. on Disney Plus. It's just called Daredevil. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't seen Daredevil on Disney Plus. <laughs> that's like saying uh, the Superman. Yeah. Or the Batman. Oh well, wait, that's what that they call the Batman because the yeah. they ran out of titles. Anyway, and let me ask, let me tell you why I asked you about the Daredevil. I just started watching it. My son got me kind of hooked. It's on just it. Daredevil. Daredevil. Uh, the TV show mm -hmm. is about a guy who was blinded as a child, mm -hmm. but he has all the other senses are like increased, you know, super senses. That's why uh, when you asked me, what was it? <laughs> what just happened? What happened? <laughs> anyway, my sense, he's able to tell if somebody is nervous yeah. or scared of just course. by listening. Yes. He can hear the heart rate. Yeah. And that's what I did before. Whenever it was, you said what? It was to me. <laughs> well, this is a total disaster. <laughs> you, you, you terrible. You in, I love it. You interrupt. You Wait, take I over. Never and then you I never never interrupt. When did I and interrupt? And then you get lost. It's, I don't, it's incredible. Nothing but you has couldn't, happened yet. I know. You, you realize couldn't help me. We have been talking for about 20 minutes. <laughs> and I defy you. I defy our listeners to find three consecutive minutes that means anything, that has any continuity, that builds to any conclusion. If you had been listening to me, you would find a lot of continuity. But no, you're off on a rant about the drone, about me stuttering, about, you know, continuity issues. You're not listening. You're in your own little head. 
<laughs> I'm going to try you again. Why is this date so important? October 27th. It's when Hiking with Kevin premieres. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's all you wanted to get to. What about, let's talk about, you have this book. Oh, right? now you're talking my talk. <laughs> <laughs> you're quite a good artist. And um, I think you did a uh, series of really fantastic. Did you see these, Sona? They're really incredible. I'm seeing them They're now. Really They're incredible. amazing. They're amazing. Uh, you tell stories. You write these sort of essays wow. about all these people that you've encountered in show business. And these are really fantastic. <gasps> that Christopher Walken. You guys are so nice. What I'm did, sorry for what happened before. What I did, yeah, now that I'm, prom you're happy when oh. I'm promoting yeah, your yeah. wares. Really iconic people in here. Um, well, uh, since this is Audible, Conan is looking at my new book that's coming out October 25, Conan, uh, yeah, 2022. It's called, it's called I Exaggerate My Brushes with Fame. <laughs> it's a collection. Uh, I started painting, uh, well, I've done multimedia, started a couple of years ago, and I've always loved to draw. You're actually in the front of this. I saw. You're more of a sketch. And yeah, this, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, <clears throat> you didn't give me like a real portrait. No, I didn't because I've seen a lot of caricatures of you, and I've been into your office, and there's so many paintings. I thought he won't even appreciate this. Oh, I would have. But look, this is one you did of me in 1992. <gasps> yeah. So this is before I got the late night show, and you did this. Caricature That's in the front. Of me. Yeah. That is right here. Isn't great. that cool? That yep. is and there's so another one cool. of you in there. Can you find it? And I remembered. No, I don't think there is. No, it's in the front. Huh. Yeah, it's like one of those. Anyway, no. um, I've, I, loved, I've only seen one. I love to, is that to me right flip there? the page back. A beautiful <laughs> woman. No, no, flip back. Back, back. back. Okay, Jesus. No. no, I guess I'm wrong. How about go forward now? No, there's no other one of me. There's just that one. All right, no, go back again. Okay. Now go forward. Okay, go stop back. it. You know, <laughs> anyway, so so let me, you, you asked me, I'm going to tell you. I started, you know, I've been an artist most of my life. Mm -hmm. You know, I started doodling people when I was a really young kid. And then when I got to SNL during the table read, I would sketch people in the margin of the script mm -hmm. that I wasn't in and I didn't care about. Mm -hmm. And uh, whoever was sitting across from me, it could be Farley or Dana. <clears throat> so, and then I started sketching people on airplanes. You'll see some of those sketches in the beginning. It's called I Exaggerate My Brushes with Fame. And uh, <laughs> we've plugged that. And right, so we've plugged the book. Here's the cool thing about the book, Conan. Uh -huh. It's going to make a great gift because it comes out around the holidays. <laughs> but check with your doctor. So, uh, <laughs> can I ask you something, Sona? And I'm going to ask Eduardo to jump in too. Have you guys noticed that he's completely incoherent when we're just trying to talk as normal human beings? But the minute he's promoting something, yeah. You are the most eloquent speaker since Winston Churchill. <laughs> Suddenly yes. you are this great statesman, every thought nuanced uh, and packed with meaning. The book also has anecdotes <laughs> next to, <laughs> next to the, uh, each painting. And they're, they're little anecdotes that kind of relate to the person that I've drawn. It's called anecdotes. You keep saying antidotes. No, anecdotes. Antidotes. Anecdotes. There's medicine in there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and there's a story that relates my history with that person, my experience. Um, unless they don't know the person, i.e. Freddie Mercury, i.e. meaning that is. <clears throat> and although I, if it's a Freddie Mercury type, I will just reminisce about being in a garage band. So and, you have uh, people in here. You have obviously Gary Shandling, who you were very close felt, to. Uh, and you know what's nice? Uh, you reprinted your the eulogy you gave for Gary. I did. Uh, which was uh, really beautiful and funny and touching. One of the best I've ever heard. And, Thank you. and so it's uh, nice that that's in here. You've got an amazing Howard Stern. This Christopher Walken. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that one jumped out at painting me. Painting is absolutely fantastic. Uh, he looks like a feral owl, mm -hmm. but uh, he looks like a, a troll doll almost. Yeah. You've got <clears throat> Schwarzenegger, who, of course, you worked with back in the day with. Hans and Franz. Yes, my friend, that is correct. We wrote the Hans and Franz uh, movie. It was a musical. Yes. I'm There's, just reminding you of that. There are people who want to see that script. Um, they, people uh, are asking for a table read. No, I know. I know. We can't figure out who owns it. Did you know that? We've actually looked into it. Really? Because um, Robert Smigel, myself, Dana, and Kevin in 1992... Uh, wrote a Hans and Franz musical uh, with Arnold Schwarzenegger in it, and then it it didn't get greenlit. And soon after that, I was off to host the late night show. 
But um, that's where I know you from. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was kicking myself saying, where do I know this guy from? <laughs> he looks so familiar. <laughs> um, um, you're right. So it was a musical, but also you're forgetting to say that Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to co-produce it and star in it as well. Yeah, yeah. And then it never was made. And some people now are saying they want the table read for the Hans and Franz musical. Um, I have no memory. I remember us, I think, being on some lot, uh, writing it together. You kept coming in, and at the time, you were only drinking health shakes. I think uh, you came in every day, and you spent a lot of time mixing powders in a giant, like, baby bottle. Really? And then you would sip out of them, and you wore a tracksuit. Uh, oh, that's when I was training for the Olympics. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... I never had a tracksuit in my life. You did. You wore a tracksuit. We I remember you were lying on the couch with your shorts on, or maybe they were briefs, <laughs> and you had no shirt on. And I <laughs> sketched you. I sketched you. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And I was wearing, I remember this, I was wearing the locket that Kate Winslet has in Titanic. <laughs> I remember that really well. It is true as well. Remember? And then we wanted to put it in a, a safe. And then yeah. you and I went running through the ship together. Oh, yeah, while yeah. While Irish music played. You, um, there has been a call for us to do a table read for the Hans and Franz musical. I hope that happens someday, but I understand no one can figure out. I don't, A, I don't know if anyone why has did, a copy. Why, who cares who owns it? Uh, I think you have to get their permission or something. I don't know. We're not making time. money from it, are we? Yeah. Well, I would insist that we try and make at least a couple hundred thou. Oh. You're so, all about cash, aren't you? I need cash badly. I've been to, I made a... I don't, I don't really... I made some bets with some bad people. I don't really, I'm not, I'm very comfortable where I am in life. My wife is from old crypto. So, um, you know, I, I, I don't really have to worry about it. You, uh, you're such an ass. 